Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm a product manager here at Pure Storage for our VMware and cloud offerings. So the topic I want to discuss today here is VM recovery. Why do we need to recover VMs? Well, there's a lot of reasons, and recovery can mean different things. I might just be refreshing it to a different data set. I might, I might have a accidental file problem, right? It was the deletion um, or change that I want to revert, or a large database that might need to be changed. It might just be a refresh. I need to refresh this with a different point in time from the past uh, to reset my test. Lots of different reasons. And of course, one of the, the big ones that everyone's talking about these days is ransomware. Right? Someone maliciously affected my data and I need to get back to a solid state. So what can Pure do to help here? Well, a big part of recovery, a big part of solving these problems isn't just doing it and having the option, totally is important, but it's doing it quickly, right? Time to get back up to business, right? Money is lost when we lose time. And so doing it really fast, having a fast option is a key piece of this. And this is something we can really help. Uh, and in particular, of course, in VMware environments. So here I have a virtual machine and I have a couple of virtual disks. What are my options here? Well, up here we have a variety of ways of creating point in times and protection policies around your virtual disks. We can do snapshots where I just create a one-off one. We can create multiple snapshots through policies, through what we call our protection groups. We can even take these snapshots and put them in Azure, Azure Blob or Amazon S3 and protect them in a completely different data center, AKA a hyperscaler for longer term retention, or simply just another place to park your data that's separate from your primary, primary offering. Of course, we can also put these on NFS. NFS mounts um, on-prem or in a different place or a different data center, we can offload these snapshots of those places too. And of course, we can send them to another flash array. So we can replicate these snapshots to one or more different flash arrays to protect them and make them immediately usable on those other flash arrays. So one of the key parts, one of the cool benefits around all of these protections is that this is at a virtual disk granularity. This virtual disk, that virtual disk can have its own protection policy or protected all together in a large consistency group to that NFS offload, to Azure Blob, to Amazon S3, to one or more other flash arrays. All of these things, local snapshots, snapshot policies, and you, when you want to restore them, you don't have to restore all of the virtual disks. You don't have to restore a whole section of them. You can restore an individual virtual disk. You can pull a snapshot of this virtual disk directly from S3, directly from Azure Blob, and, and instantly restore it when it's back on that array. These local snapshots provide immediate restore. There's no pulling it from anything. If it's on another flash array, we can immediately uh, bring it back up on that particular flash array and restore that particular virtual disk. There's a ton of flexibility around this. And because our snapshots are based on a core tenant of the flash array, which of course is data reduction, everything is a metadata-based metadata -based pointer system. And so when we're restoring, we can restore huge volumes, terabytes, terabytes, and terabytes, instantly because we're just resetting from that metadata point in time. So while these offer tons of flexibility and options on how you protect your data, we also have the ability to do this at a virtual disk granular level in your VMware environment, giving you the power to choose how it's protected and how it's restored and only do it to the object that you need to restore. Thanks for listening.